guys how are you my name is rodney so this was a highly requested video you guys have asked me for a while now to show my dog collection and i've been wanting to change their clothes reorganize them and change their hairstyles and so i figured what better time to finally show you my collection at large than now so i'm going to show you each doll in no particular order and talk about what they mean to me and how they came about just for context i did do a shelf building video but it got deleted by accident and i couldn't get it back so <laughs> i put the girls that i didn't or i actually i put the girls that i cared the most for on the bottom shelf and as it got higher i cared about them a little bit less the girls at the bottom were previously my favorites but that's going to be changing soon hence the reason why i want to reorganize them so yeah stay tuned for that part of course i want to be showing where i put each doll and also stay tuned because i'm going to be answering some questions that i got on instagram and you'll know which doll fits into which category that, yeah you'll see Let's do it. Of course, we had to start with one of the most beautiful and ethereal dolls I've ever laid eyes on, and that's Delilah Fields. She's stunning in every single way, and I love her so much. Oh, by the way, forewarning, I'm gonna say love a lot in this video. It's just inevitable. Somebody asked me this question, which is, it's very difficult to answer, and honestly, I would give this to Delilah. It's just, I don't have a singular favorite doll. So I got a lot of people asking that, but yeah, no, it's, it's not possible for me. This is my second Delilah and she's actually the only doll that I got a second version of. And I just put her in some of Uma's clothes. But what I love about Delilah is the fact that she's albino and she has this beautiful long blonde hair. Her energy is just very lighthearted. And even in these clothes, she exudes happiness. And I, I, I don't know, every time I look at her, I just instantly get happy period <laughs> let's move on this is costume ball bella and this is my second bella my first one was pc bella she's very nicely executed i thought it would be cute to accentuate her witchy kind of makeup look and i gave her those gemstones in the middle of her face i didn't know what i was going for but i think it ended up working out i love her clothes so much they're super high quality this is actually my favorite version of bella and looking at her hair leads me to the next question and her hair was in fact the most difficult to restyle because as i said i wanted to play into the whole witchy thing and you can just barely see it but she does have chains in her hair <laughs> i didn't know what i was doing but all of these earrings that you see on these dolls came from etsy let me know if you want the links to them and now we have this strikingly beautiful doll tiara song again she is just so glorious and i love all of her gemstones and her fashions are such high quality her face is so beautiful this was actually one of the first dolls that i had with the asian kind of face mold with the almond eyes and her eyes are kind of like this brown like multicolored it's so it's such a beautiful eye color and it's pretty unique i would say but yeah she's one of my faves now we have freaking naomi storm oh my gosh uh, another one of those dolls that i fell in love with instantly instantly when i took her out of the box and it was quite unexpected but she has to be probably top 10 <laughs> i would say she's top 10 up there with veronica um yeah this is her restyle she was the last girl that i used the straw method on and since then i've just been using the curling iron but you know the results still look good and yeah i love her this is a more recent girl this is demi batista any doll with straight hair i'm in knee deep for <laughs> i love dolls with straight hair and when she came out i was on the hunt for her i wanted her so desperately and i i think a lot of people are in all of the way that I've done her hair. Definitely one of my favorite restyles for sure, but her outfit is such high quality and oh my gosh, the detail is just insane. And now I present to you the queen, one of the top tier dolls. <laughs> if you've watched me for a while, you know that I, I'm the hugest fan of Veronica Storm. And it's so funny because when I initially got the Storm Twins, I thought that I would like Naomi more, but I ended up just liking them equally. Veronica is just an astounding, accomplishment of a modern day doll and if you don't have her you are doing yourself a huge disservice she's absolutely stunning and i love the bubble gum lola wild lola freaking wild 
Um, what can I say? Look at her. <laughs> the brown eyes, the curly hair, the fishnet socks, the freaking boots, heels, whatever they are. Absolutely top-notch chick. That's why she's on the bottom shelf. And in fact, after this reorganization process, she's gonna remain there. I used chains, of course. She's just very deserving of that position. And I will always love Lola Wilde. This is Harley Limestone, my favorite girl of the Neon Shadow group. And I'm not the biggest fan of the neon colors, but something about this doll just does it for me. And a lot of her accessories are plated. This coat is freaking everything. I love this coat to this day. Ugh, it's beautiful. She's one of those dolls that you pick up and she feels heavy and she feels high quality. Highly recommend. Like, her. look at the lipstick. They really outdid themselves with this doll. I can't believe it. <laughs> okay, so here's Robin. Um, <laughs> she is definitely overrated, but I do like this restyle that I gave her. It's a little bit of a maximalism vibe. However, um, I think that she is not really as appealing to me like i love the shoes i love these bunny slippers but she doesn't speak to my soul as much as the other dolls do and that's fine every doll is not going to do that every doll doesn't have to do that but as far as robin goes maybe i would like her a lot more in her costume ball version but this version of her is just whatever you know i sort of feel the same way about eliza i think that she's a very beautiful doll and she has a lot of potential but those bangs have always got in the way of me seeing her for her they've always obstructed my feelings towards her and uh, you know i do plan on eventually removing those but for now i just can't fully appreciate her for who she is you know now this doll right here miss mila barrymore is most certainly an underrated doll i think a lot of people don't like her and a lot of people didn't like her initially because of her face and i can totally understand that i don't like the big bug eyes on these dolls either and they've gotten better with that since then obviously but what gets me about this doll is the impeccable hair quality she is certainly up there amongst the girls who have really nice hair i don't know what happened to her hair to get it so silky and fluffy and soft but I don't know, I wish I could do this with all of my dolls. <laughs> and here is the girl that started it all, Jewel Richie. I'd never thought that whenever I restyled her on Reddit and whatever, that it would expand into this whole thing. Now having 10,000 followers on Instagram, I just, I can't fathom that number of people following me, but it's all because of Jewel. And she's quite literally the first doll that I fell in love with when I unboxed her. And I'm still in love with Jewel to this day. Oh my gosh, Aisha Sterling, Robin Sterling's sister. <laughs> she looks miles better than Robin. I don't know what they did with her, but her skin tone and her face, it's just astounding. I just, oh, such a beautiful freaking doll. Too bad she has thin hair, but yeah, I love Aisha so much. And this restyle is actually one of my favorites as well. And her hair is super soft for white hair. The face on Malene Lux. Oh my goodness, look at her face. Almost better than Aisha. Um, she's actually one of the dolls that I regret restyling. I should have just left her hair how it was because it gets in her face. And I wanna redress her sometime soon and also restyle her hair. Um, but for now, I just, uh, in love. I think she's too gorgeous to be sitting on the shelf just collecting dust. So the way that I feel about Sabrina today kind of caught me off guard because she was initially my most anticipated. But over the months, I really have grown a, not a disliking, but I just don't care for her at all anymore. I don't know if it's this restyle. Maybe it's the poor quality of her hair. I think that's what it is, actually. And I don't care that much for her, so she's definitely going to go on the top shelf. I do love her clothes and her shoes and her makeup and everything. But yeah, I don't care for Sabrina like that anymore. Chanel Onyx has always been one of my top dolls, and I'm actually super excited to finally get a chance to restyle her hair and her outfit because I wanted to film this video before doing that because I actually like this style that I had about, you know what I mean? But yeah, I don't know. Her hair is super silky, it's soft, it's super long, and she has like some of the best hair quality. It looks kind of greasy and oily right now because it's been a couple of months, but I'm gonna wash it and redo all that. Let me know if you want a Chanel restyling video, but stunning, 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 stunning. I love Chanel. Very beautiful face, very beautiful skin color, and awesome hair. Phaedra, in my opinion, is another underrated doll. 
think she's super gorgeous and this sunset or sunrise whatever it is <laughs> hair color scheme that she has go going Ugh. on it's just absolutely breathtaking and at one point phaedra was actually my favorite doll of the few that i had at that time but yeah her eyes are gorgeous and her canon look out of the box just does not do her justice at all I would definitely recommend getting her and making her into your own and restyling her because it'll bring out oh, her true beauty. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Look at this, like, framing. It's, okay, we got to move on. Now we have Minnie, the second girl of the K-pop group from Rainbow High, actually Soul Select. And she's really beautiful on camera. And I feel very ashamed at where she ended up by the end of this video. I really do like Minnie. It's just, I don't think that... She speaks to me as much as the other dolls do. I think it's probably because of the eye color. I don't like that blue and like purple eye color that Rainbow High uses. But if she had brown eyes like Tessa, or not Tessa, but Tiara, oh my gosh, she would have been like over the moon. I would have been over the moon or high. And now the third member of the K-pop group, which is Tessa. Tessa has really grown on me. I don't know why. I love this hairstyle. I love the hair color, the outfit. I think that she's so unique in her own way. And her face is gorgeous, of course, but she has those blue eyes but it's fine a brilliantly detailed doll look at her fingers like look at the rings on her fingers oh my gosh i love it so much yeah i don't know i'm just really connecting with her a lot recently oh i just wanted to add this part in because it's, it's satisfying in my opinion and it's like a cotton candy or what is this reminding you of like clouds it's reminding me of something and i don't think it's cotton candy the wall looks so weird being empty now but now we have uma i just recently straightened her hair guys i know uma looks horrible this is actually like one of the worst restyles <laughs> I, I hate it i really do i don't know i thought it was cute at the time i was going for maybe like a y2k look i don't know but it didn't work out and i would never do this to her again it's Oh, no, 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 oh my gosh. And I need to curl her hair because it being straight, it's just, it's stiff. It's not working out. But Uma herself is a very gorgeous doll and I love her. If you've seen my review, I fell in love with Uma. I fell in love with her instantaneously. And I love her clothes. They're super high quality. It's just the restyle, I set her up for failure with that. Now we have Georgia. Oh my gosh, I love Georgia so much. I, over these last couple of weeks, have been falling deeper in love with her. I've loved her from the beginning. I got her when I got Cheryl. And uh, she has such soft hair, beautiful features. Something about her energy is just so welcoming. Her outfit is very cohesive and beautifully executed. If you do not have Georgia, what are you doing with your life? She is a top tier doll. Top 10, top 10, I'm telling you. <laughs> Once again, earrings are from Etsy. Let me know if you need the link. Now we're moving into the newer dolls that just came out and we're starting off with Zoe, who's actually super popular at the moment and rightfully so. She's one of my favorites. She stole my heart. I've just been looking at her these past couple of weeks. I'm just in awe of the way that they executed her. I love this restyle. Her hair is really soft and beautiful. It came with tinsel, unfortunately, but that's fine. I love the stars that I put in her hair and how I was able to incorporate that and implement that into her look and to answer this question from this user i believe that zoe has the best shoes because they're like i said it's super thematic and very conceptual i don't know why i didn't show it i'm gonna insert a clip here but she has such amazing shoes and i know that a lot of these dolls have really cool shoes but i don't know i just didn't expect to see anything like that from shadow high so yeah thank you for that question and now we have my show accurate glitch i have two glitches and i said earlier that i only had a duplicate of uh, delilah and that wasn't true but i do have two glitches um this glitch oh my goodness i love this so freaking much um, I think that I executed it pretty well. I mean, I got those clips from Etsy. I had a vision for her and I'm proud to say that I accomplished that vision. It makes sense that she didn't come with all of these clips and things in her hair because I mean, they're real metal and I'm sure that they wouldn't have invested real metal into a $25 doll. Nonetheless, I'm happy that I got two versions of her and hopefully in the future I can do more restyles on her. 
now here's my second glitch actually this is the first one that i got <laughs> but you know this is my it's giving baddie version of glitch i got her some false lashes and i i incorporated some chains into her restyle but not too much um uh, it's okay i don't think that i would do these lashes again to be honest i thought they were cute at first but then i don't know i'm not feeling them anymore but i do really like this restyle and again glitch is gorgeous i love her and i love how long and uh dark her hair is next up is carla gorgeous gorgeous girl unfortunately mine had a defect uh, i think she had too much eyeshadow and so i had to cut her bangs um i do prefer her original hairstyle to be honest but i'm okay with this i think she's cute somebody said that she looks like a character named mary from some kind of anime which is so awesome because i was going for that kind of anime school girl look anyways yeah I, I like carla i know now who she was inspired by and i love these freaking clothes the construction of it the framing of it the fabrics the boots amazing top tier so now we are on the top shelf and the first one is marissa she's she's gorgeous i don't know why she's on the top shelf i think it's because her hair isn't the best quality but what i did with her hair was use the curling iron to curl it it's all big and you know it's excessive whatever <laughs> another doll that i have no clue as to why she's on the top shelf because she's one of my favorites i have always been in love with cheryl i got her like i said earlier when i got georgia and i fell in love with them both and i love cheryl's hair she has a really pretty face very nice hair quality she needs to be bumped down a little bit this is harper dune another one of those girls that i desperately want to restyle i'm going to be doing that very soon i don't know if you guys want to see that but i wouldn't mind making videos for both her and chanel and some other girls but yeah harper has really soft hair and nice hair quality as well <laughs> i know i keep talking about the hair but i've said numerous times on my channel i'm a hair oriented doll person so nonetheless harper is an amazing doll and i'm kind of sad that she doesn't get the attention she deserves here's my first bella it's actually my second bella i had the original series two one back in 2021 i believe but i sold her among some of my other dolls and i just restarted my collection last year but yeah this is my first bella she's a classic gotta love her another girl that played a big role in the upbringing of this channel mina filier i don't know how to pronounce her last name but series four really brought a lot of things that we hadn't seen before and that's why i was so drawn in by them the diversity this is an indian doll jewel had vitiligo delilah had albinism it was just really cool to see and mina's no exception to that coco was another gorgeous gorgeous girl and i made an attempt to actually like restyle her clothes <laughs> i don't, don't typically do that as you guys know but yeah i actually think she looks cute in this little get up it's not the best put together outfit and her hair looks all messed up because she fell a few times just like how they typically do so, so i'm just going to briefly show the next few rainbow high dolls before i get to the monster high dolls because they don't really have a whole lot of significance and of course they're on the, they're on the top shelf <laughs> and you know what it is i don't like pink dolls I'm realizing that I am not a fan of pink dolls. So that's the reason why I'm not too keen on Sabrina at the moment. Let me know if you have any questions about these dolls that I'm flashing by. <laughs> um, I'm ready to move on to the Monster High. So this is the last Rainbow High doll and this is Kaya Hart. I used to be in love with her. I have a strong dismay towards her now i think that she is in fact the ugliest doll in my collection and i i don't quite understand why she was even on display to begin with i guess i was wanting to be optimistic and i gave her bangs to try to bring back that love that i once had for her but i believe that it's time to just let her go <laughs> now moving on to the monster high side of things um, i don't have that many of them mainly due to the fact that all of the ones that i want to get are darn near impossible to get so this is real drama draculaura and this is the only real drama doll that i got for obvious reasons another doll that i fell in love with but it's kind of odd because for the last couple of months her hair has really degraded in a I way. I don't know. I heard that Mattel manufactures and uses their own saran hair. So if that's true, then I guess that that's what that can be attributed to. Here's my G3 Draculaura. And I'm quite a big fan of this restyle. I really set out to play along with the whole heart theme. I don't know if it's a theme.
seen but she you know she represents a lot of hearts <laughs> and so i thought that it was only proper to include that in her hair restyle i really like it i hadn't seen it done before on dracula so i thought it was cool that i was able to implement it here's my g3 frankie um, very cool doll. Don't really care for them that much anymore, to be totally honest. I think, again, another case of me really just disliking my own restyle. I just didn't feel like this matches their personality. It was, I don't know. I don't I don't, I don't like it like that anymore, <laughs> which is fine. You don't have to like every restyle that you do in the long run. Sometimes you outgrow things. But I do want more Frankie dolls. The things that I would do for the real drama Frankie, oh, please. Ugh. Now we're on to my favorite, my absolute favorite Monster High doll. Gulia Yelps is such an awesome freaking character. And actually, news just broke that she's canonically autistic. How awesome is that? And I think that she's so relatable for a lot of people in that manner. And look at her face. Like, oh my goodness. When I took those glasses off when I unboxed her, immediately in love. Immediately. It's like, are you really even living if you don't have a Gulia Yelps in your life? Are you really even alive? I don't know. Here's my G3 Laguna and I have to be honest I'm quite disappointed in Laguna. She does look a little bit of a mess right now because I, I, I had her put away because of the fact that her hair is also degrading in a way the quality of it the way that i can't come through it the way that it feels it's just a different experience than it was initially which kind of sucks but it is what it is if you didn't see a doll in this video that you saw previously on my channel it's because they're put away in storage somewhere and as i said earlier they don't play a significant role in my collection or in my anything as i'm playing clips of me putting the dolls back on the shelves i'm going to be answering some questions that i got on instagram i guess this is like my first official q a right i don't know let's do it okay so i honestly feel like it'll be a lot easier to do it this way i'm just gonna read it straight from my phone oh that was cute who is that okay um yt nope don't want to get copyrighted okay let's start from the bottom to the top it's a lot but it's not too much right okay why do i collect like my story behind it um i i started collecting it was like an unintentional thing as i said earlier i didn't know that it would expand into this bigger thing <laughs> i did it because i liked the dolls and i've always loved hair yeah just like the presence of the dolls just bring me so much joy and it makes it a little less lonely like i said i work from home so it can get lonely very easily and if i can easily look up at something that makes me happy then you know that's a super huge benefit so that's one of the main reasons. Will I make a Diamante restyle video? I don't plan to, unfortunately. We'll see though, I don't know. My favorite, oh. <laughs> what is my, mm, if you could only pick, I oh, know I can't answer that. What products do you use to keep the curls on the dolls? I'm having a hard time with Bella. Conditioner, I, I've said it so many times in my videos, conditioner definitely helps hold them as far as like nylon hair goes i don't know about saran are there any dolls that i haven't gotten around to displaying or customizing yet no <laughs> thankfully no your favorite character in the show and an irl <laughs> doll um i really like glitch's personality i can relate to her so much but delilah i mean i had to bring up delilah again her little accent is so adorable sabrina's an independent woman she doesn't need that group um i know i don't know i, I think that i like a lot of their personalities they're all very likable so yes thank you for that are you going to get any of the new pretty and punk dolls oh that's a good question oh my gosh um i just might we'll see when are they coming out let me know thank you i appreciate that doll that i don't like ainsley i dislike ainsley so freaking much and i think the only reason why she gets away with looking like that is because she comes with other outfits and shoes and stuff but she doesn't even come with accessories so yeah i'm not i'm not a fan of ainsley at all her face looks literally insane she literally looks like the miley cyrus meme do i have a shelf rotation change all the dolls every so often i actually don't i i get really accustomed to how they look and i get used to their positions uh, this is the first time that i've changed them around since i put myself up so yes thank you top three favorite restyles of yours well like i said i love drucky loras once again i love delilah's restyles zoe is a new one veronica is another one that i really love her and glitch i really like those restyles when are we getting the monique restyle video maybe soon you know i get paid this week so we'll see how long have you been collecting 
um, since I think June or July of last year. Or maybe it was a little bit, sometime last year, I would say 2021. 2022, I mean, dang, I'm still stuck in 21. Would you add more boy dolls to your collection if they had long hair? That's a really good question. I actually don't have any boy dolls at the moment, but if they did have long hair, I probably would because I can customize them in some way, you know? My first doll, I think, was Crystal Bailey from Series 2, I believe. I don't have her anymore. I sold her just like I sold my first Bella unfortunately but yeah it's crystal bailey how do you keep your dolls clean aka no dust on them without ruining their hair i use this little tool this duster thing that i got from amazon i'll put like a picture up here and that tends to help every here and then i'll go in and like spray them or dust them <laughs> spray them with air whatever have you tried making clothes for rainbow high no i have not I'm, i don't think that i would be capable of doing that well honestly i probably could but i don't i'm not interested in clothing i think that the clothes that the dolls come with are sufficient enough for them how do you not have fried flyaways at the end of your doll's hair um i i don't know i mean i wash them with hand soap and i straighten their hair sometimes but i just barely started doing that i don't know maybe i just get lucky not a question, but I love your styles because they're so unique and polished. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Do you have Nicole? I do have Nicole. She's put away. <laughs> She's put away. Do you restyle as a creative outlet or to make the dolls up more to your liking? I guess it's a little bit of both. I've always said that it's like a, a form of therapy, <laughs> but it's also very exhilarating to be able to express myself with something that I've always cared about, i.e. hair. I've always loved hair. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to have me do her hair. I wasn't like styling it, but I think she used to have me like massage her scalp or whatever, but I was pretty much like playing with her hair like combing it and everything so i guess if you really want to get down to the origin of this whole thing it's my mom <laughs> but yeah like now i'm just like at a point in which they really relax me and yeah a creative outlet um is a good definition for the whole thing as well so thank you for that how does it feel looking back to when you first started your channel love your content well thank you so much it honestly gets me emotional to think about because like i said earlier i didn't think that i would be able to appeal to so many people you know i've gotten so many comments from people of all ages races and regions of the world and i think that's such an awesome thing to be able to play a role in these people's lives and i've always wanted in some way to appeal to people or to entertain people and the fact that i've found a way to do that and also do what i love to do alongside it it's a true honor and it's a blessing and i always encourage people to do the same in the dog community or outside of the dog community go after what you think will make you happy even if you don't know if it'll get you anywhere do it because it makes you happy i never did this for the money i never did this for the attention i did this for myself and people who i can convey my message to and people who i can appeal to and kind of grow a little community and the fact that i've done that and i can look back and realize that i have done that as I said, it's an emotional thing, and um, I appreciate you guys so much for being here and staying attuned and um, talking to me. It's, it's really nice. Thank you. Could you do a tier list of video? I actually have one planned. I don't know if I'm going to actually do it. I have it written down and everything, but yeah, we'll see. Thoughts on removing second outfits in Shadow High in favor of accessories. I don't even think it's about like accessories. They just want to cut costs and obviously making the clothes cost more than the accessories. However, I see both sides. I can see how that would benefit some people and I can see how that can be a detriment to others. For me personally, I have so many clothes already. I don't think that I need every doll that I buy to have two outfits i'm okay with it and also they're cheaper so i can buy many more at once rather than having to wait until i get paid again to buy just a one doll you know i don't like the, the idea of paying 50 plus dollars for a doll that i don't even know much about until i open her up you know what i mean again i understand both sides but i'm not really super against it at the moment how many dolls in total can you put in my question <laughs> this is my sister oh my she just wanted me in the video i guess but i don't know how many dolls i have i have at least 40 i would say or 50 that doesn't sound like it's a lot but it looks like it is oh no actually it might be like 70 now including the breasts i don't know 
it's a lot your favorite part of collecting i love your videos thank you so much i don't know it's just like a, it's a thrilling experience getting a chance to open up a new doll especially a doll that you've been highly anticipating i really enjoy the communal aspect of it and being able to talk to people who know things that you know and who know the lore behind the dolls and the story you know it's just like it's really nice to not feel alone in the whole thing so that's like one of the bigger things that i enjoy about this is a good question what discontinued doll line do you wish you had gotten to collect before it was discontinued g1 monster high hands down obviously i would like to try novi stars that would have been cool brats oh my gosh the original brats with saran hair i would like to get the real drama i don't know if they're canceled or not i don't have a question but wanted to say that i love your collection and your restyles are amazing thank you so much i appreciate you will you restyle more dolls with curly hair that's the plan wait you said that you didn't have a question but then you added <laughs> you asked the okay how do you feel about russian audience and do you have it i don't know it if you're asking how do i feel about my russian audience I love them just as much as I love everybody else. Um, I'm sure they're not how <laughs> the political Russians are, right? I don't know. Favorite Monster High doll from your collection? Gulia Yelps. Oh my gosh. Gulia's everything. She will always be everything. They need to make more iterations of G3 Gulia. G3 Gulia is like, I don't know, something about her just, it just, it, it touches my soul as it should. Do you still have any wish lists? No, I don't actually. I'm not on the hunt for anything. <laughs> That's kind of crazy to say, but no, not yet. I guess we're waiting for Rainbow High Series 5 at this point. And then more Monster High dolls. We'll see. Will you show us your room? It changed a lot. You'll see it in the background of my videos. I don't need to devote like a whole video for that. You'll see it as time goes on. It's not too different, but advice on growing a doll account. Well, for me, I didn't even plan on having a doll account to begin with i just started on youtube <laughs> well i guess i had a, a doll account on reddit but i guess what i would say is that try to do something that you have not seen other people doing that's my main goal is to try to do things that other people aren't doing and that was like the whole premise of my channel to showcase the dolls in a light that other people never really showed them in try to show what you haven't been shown that's what I can say to you. Not sure if you answered this in another video, but do you see yourself getting any Rainbow High Series 1 and Series 2 dolls? That's a good question. I don't. I do not <laughs> like those eyes. I like the more almond-shaped eyes that these newer dolls have. They look more realistic. And yeah, I don't, I don't like the super cartoonish, I guess, doll, typical doll look that Series 1 and 2 have. Three and up for me. No questions, but your collection is beautiful. Thank you. Putting up those shelves was not an easy task, so <laughs> I appreciate that. Will you ever try rerouting a doll? If I can find some saran hair, I would, but I wouldn't reroute a doll with nylon. I've come to that conclusion. I wouldn't. Not a question, but I love your videos and posts so much. You are so talented. Oh, I love you. Thank you. How do you feel about Rainbow High without neck articulation? I strongly dislike that. I don't know why that was ever a thing, especially because they owned rats. But that's another reason why I don't like Kaya Hearts. It's just so awkward. I hate it. <laughs> do I still collect brats? No, I don't. Um, I'm not against buying any more of them. I just don't want to pay Macari people because they're just too expensive on Macari and eBay. So if I can go to like a, a thrift store and buy some more, I would do that. But as far as like buying them online, no, I haven't bought Brad's in a month. But yeah, I wouldn't say that I'm done with it. Just I'm not paying that much for them anymore. Oh, so I guess that's it. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. That was a lot of good questions that I've never been asked before. <laughs> um, Cool. Very fun. Alrighty, guys. I'm so stoked. We are now complete. <laughs> um, I actually ended up fitting 12 on the top shelf. But I've organized them, if you didn't see my last video, I organized them in a way that if you stand like directly behind my computer chair, they're all looking at you. Um, Carmen's looking a little bit too far to the right. Let me fix her really quickly. Unfortunately, these three gals are going to have to go in storage somewhere or I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I really... I really like this outfit that Daria has on, but I don't know. I might repurpose it for someone else whenever I decide to do restyles. But yeah, I'm I'm not too sad about this. Like, I mean, they're all pink. Well, not really, but you know, they. I don't care that much for them. <laughs> but yes, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Hold on, let me see if everybody's looking at me. Okay, this obviously Glitch is looking at her phone because she's introverted or whatever. <laughs>
Okay, okay. Okay, Delilah, are you looking at us? She is from my perspective. I don't know why it looks like that on camera. Okay, cute. Oh, oh my gosh. She's staring right into your soul. Oh, wow. Eliza, um, let me fix her really quickly. That, that's a little better. I think you understand, right? And then the top shelf. Again, it looks like they are looking at me, but except for Meline, I have to do her hair again. Okay, it's giving Kill Bill. Yeah. Oh, okay, lovely. I love it. In my mind, I'm also like thinking that they're watching TV, like, you know, in my mind. <laughs> I don't know. Because when that wall was just like a plain white wall at first for all those months, I kind of felt bad because they were just like looking into oblivion, looking at a literally a literal white wall and I felt bad for them. And so now they get to watch TV while I'm working. Okay, guys, that is the end of this video. Finally, put a rainbow if you're still watching at this point. Um, this is what it looks like. Oh, yeah they fell <laughs> i gotta put them back up but yeah this is the longest video i've ever done this was the hardest video i've ever done hopefully i can have it up monday which is today <laughs> we'll see but yeah like i said put a rainbow if you're watching this part i love you guys again thank you for staying tuned and staying by my side and talking to me this has been an amazing experience and i'm happy to be going into this new year with an amazing audience an amazing community like you guys it means everything to me and i can say that i've gotten everything that i've wanted thank you for everything i love you and i will see you in the next video bye